Uh, Hanzo gets 125 an arrow, and for his, if you min-maxed his attack speed, it's 0.75 per arrow. Um, which puts his DPS at like 166. For the record, Junkrat's DPS is 126. So he's, um... Against shields, he's doing big damage. Like, this is his mouse one without Storm Arrow. I'm very sensitive to movement, like a T-Rex. In trap, I think that's a little bullshit. I'm teleporting to bedtime. Is Echo ulting in trap? Break trap? Yes. Dynamite. What oh, did our craft teeth switch hero? Oh man. Baptiste swapped his hero in spawn, like he didn't wait. Damn, we uh we could've used that.
Sigma. Probably should just hit the trap for this side. Right through the uprights, he did. He just left. He's like, fuck. Simply put, uh, you can't use like most of the maps and everything they offer because of those heroes. Interesting different than most. Most folks would want more hit scan and less variety type heroes. No, the whole point is to use. The whole purpose is to have a wide variety of heroes that do different things. Um, but hit scan currently, they limit map design, they limit hero design, uh, because they're just way too good. Essentially, if you have a wide open map, essentially, it's just pointless to have anything other than. I mean, Hitscan have a place, but they shouldn't... Hitscan shut down too many different heroes, and they shut down too many types of maps. Uh, also, if you look at just game design in general, and look at MMOs... Not MMOs, sorry. M uh, fucking Battle Royales. It's MMO for FPS. Um, you'll notice that there are no Hitscan weapons, because most Battle Royales uh, are designed on wide open maps. And on a wide open map, hit scan wins. And if you want to look on a very specific example, check out the um, uh, what was the railgun they added to Apex Legends? That turned out to be like the most imbalanced gun ever created because it was a hit scan in a battle royale and everyone just used it. Uh, I forget what it's called. The charge rifle, there you go. Uh, if you want an example of what happens when you put a hit scan in a wide open game that's. That's dependent on a wide open map. That's it. Essentially, if you put a hit scan in a wide open map and everything else is projectile, its consistency is. Been out of money for a long time, though. Widow is always in it. Soldier's kind of been meta a little bit, and he's not a bad hero. Even if he's not meta, it just means he's just not the best choice. But that doesn't mean you can't get the top 500. Oh, get another trap. Oh, So yeah, I mean, I, I just think Hitscan are a little bit too good in Overwatch right now. They do outclass everything else. Okay. Keep in 
I'm keeping them stuck. Okay, Did someone leave? No. Hello. A lot of frustration with finding a gun in BF Battle Royales. You have to understand Battle Royales, the whole idea of it is for... Uh, it's basically an attack on skill. Uh, it's designed for people to get essentially a technology advantage, if you will, and for them to be able to beat people with higher skill with their kind of gun. And that amount of RNG, and, and while you can minim minimalize that RNG with better players and, you know, skill to a certain point, there there is a point where it's just like, well, I had a better weapon, you did not. Even though I'm not as good as you. Where's the metal? So, that's the problem with Battle Royales. And I get that good players will be good with multiple guns, but the entire idea is that if you took people at the exact same skill level, then the person with the better gun would win. I had your back, I said. I like this angle a lot. Go ahead, dash back over there. But yeah, that's if you want to talk about game design with Battle Royales and how it can actually, you know, relate to Overwatch. That's, that's what we're thinking about that. Play of the game. I almost missed this one too, didn't I?